Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pylondinium, the first and probably best so far Pylondinium we have had. So um, I just wanted to have a show of hands to know how many people is the first Python conference that have gone. So can I have first Python conference? OK, you're going to love it. And I will encourage you to, to go to more, because I think Python conferences is a unique experience. You really should try to make as, mu as much as you can. So we, we are all, for all of you that uh, is the first Python conference, we are all here to share some time with the people that do similar things like us in the sense of we enjoy the language, we enjoy the community, and we are here to share the time, share stories, do networking, and ideally as well, learn some things from, uh, from the talk. Uh, something I wanted to really highlight of this conference is that Pylonium is done in support of the PSF. So you, by just coming here, you are helping Python uh, be a better language, and we are helping people to get into Python into programming. So all the money that you paid for your ticket uh, is going directly to the PSF. Uh, we have the chair here. If you want more information, we will have it in the keynote. But yeah, I just wanted to say again, thank you for coming. Because by you coming here and enjoying time, you are actually helping the community. I see some people uh, waving. Yeah, it's really hot in here. Uh, we are working on that. Ideally, in something like 30 minutes, you should get better. Sorry about that. Next, uh, this conference will be possible without the sponsors. So I want to um, tell you a little bit about, you know, we have Python Anywhere, which made a, um, a donation in the name of Python Binion. I don't know if you saw this company before, but if you go to python.org, uh, the shell that is in python.org is actually provided by them. They are quite committed to the conference. We have O'Reilly, which has donated some books that will do a raffle at the end. We have Sticker Mool. You have stickers, stickers in there that are provided by Sticker Mool. And Ticketea is the platform that allows us to do all this without charging us any fee. And I work here, so I may be biased, but I think it deserves <laughs> a whole slide. Uh, Bloomberg has taken all the costs for this conference. Uh, they have been keen in making this possible. They have a booth upstairs if you're interested in knowing more about Bloomberg. Uh, I just want to say I'm proud to work here. If you consider it, go upstairs. Uh, next, code of conduct. As all PyCons, we have a code of conduct. We want that everyone has a good time. This is really important. If you haven't read the code of conduct, you should have. We have sent it on the email. If you don't comply to the code of conduct, you may be asked to uh, leave the, uh, the event. We really want to make sure that everyone has a good time here. And it's really important that you make not only yourself have a good time, but you make yourself aware that people um, should be treated with respect. And that's why we have a goal. Conference. Please have a look and uh, be sure to follow it. Next thing, lanyards should stay in the building. Uh, all of you should have this Bloomberg lanyard. Uh, we have more than 200 lanyards, and you probably want to take them home today. But as for the conference, please leave them here. You can collect them uh, tomorrow again. I know it's a painful process, but it's needed. If you want to go leave and have a, 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 if you want to smoke or just leave and have some, have some air, you need to leave them and then collect them again. Something important is when you come down through the seventh floor, they will ask you to leave. They might ask you to leave the lanyard. In that situation, if you're just coming to the ground floor, just say that you're coming to the ground floor and they will let you into the to come here. This is our venue. I don't know if, has anyone gone upstairs so far? Okay, so if you had, uh, we have an amazing view of St. Paul's. You can wander around, enjoy the pantry and amenities and everything. There's some uh, free space if you need a computer, to, like if you want to call or something. And, uh, but yeah, I wanted to remind that this is an office space. So please be mindful of the spaces that you use. If it looks like you can go through, that, through, uh, through a corridor, go through it. If you see a security person, please don't try to sneak out. Uh, just follow common sense, OK? This is an office space. You have seen the security people that look really serious, so don't make them angry. Uh, also, security, uh, pictures are OK, but not of uh, people, especially security. If you take a uh, picture of security, they will probably ask you to remove it. And if you want to take a picture of someone, please make sure that they are okay about it. We have, to, we have five minutes to go from ground floor to, even to the seventh floor if you want to go. So if you haven't been to the office first, you need to take the elevators here on the left by going through, the, through with the lanyard. That's the, how the pantry looks. So you go 
through that space, you take the stairs up, as you can see here, and you will see the auditorium here. So we have two spaces, a ground floor auditorium and seventh floor auditorium. Please make time to go there if it's the first time you go upstairs. The agenda. Has anyone not seen the agenda in the web? I hope you did, because we have an amazing content. But basically, we have four absolutely outstanding keynotes, 24 if also outstanding talks. We have open spaces uh, where, we will, uh, where we will do informal um, presentations and, and talks. We have lighting talks. If you want for, to register for the lighting talks, there is a sheet on the entrance where you can put your name. And we'll have uh, our closing uh, ceremony Sunday uh, evening and a little raffle with the books that we have from Marili. In terms of, ooh, yeah. In terms of catering, we have, oh, this is a video, but it doesn't play. So in terms of catering, we have uh, both uh, vegan, uh, vegetarian, uh, meat, and gluten-free options. I'm really sorry we couldn't cover all options, but if you have a gluten-free dietary restriction, please make sure to tell someone from the staff and they'll bring you your food. We have also coffee breaks with some snacks. Uh, you can see it in the, in, the, um, in the agenda, and those will be in the seventh floor. All catering and coffees will be in the seventh floor. Tonight, we'll have a social event. Basically, we're just going to the pub that's around the corner. You can see that's the walk. It's really, really close. It's called the Sugar Loft. If you want to share more time than just the conference and do further networking, please come through and join us, and we can have some beers there. I'm really short on time. If you want to tweet to Pylondinium, please use uh, at Pylondinium. If you want to tweet about Pylondinium and you are encouraged to do it, do hashtag Pylondinium uh, um, Oh, do Pylondinium 18. And if you want to talk around Pylondinium, here you have this beautiful to-do that I forgot to change. <laughs> um, on your email, <laughs> you should have gotten a, a link to be able to join uh, the Slack uh, workspace where we have all the attendees different events, Q&A, and everything. So check your email. I'm really sorry I didn't put it. I'll put it tomorrow in the opening. And yeah, I, shouldn't, I, should, have, I should have more time to have to put this, sorry. Then this, usually in the conference, you'll have a green room. We have a green wall. So when you go upstairs, you'll see this like green wall just on the left. If you're a speaker, please try to be 20 minutes before your session on the green wall. There is some preparation we need to do. And we'll be really thankful if you are on time. And we get to mic you up. Uh, answer questions and get you ready. So please go through the green wall upstairs 20 minutes earlier. I want to reinforce again, there is five minutes if you want to go from the ground floor to the seventh floor, which is probably not enough if 100 people want to go through three elevators upstairs. So if you really want to make it to a session upstairs and you're in, in the ground floor or the other way around, consider jumping the questions and going straight upstairs. Something I uh, always, I wouldn't say love, but like I feel I need um, saying in all conferences, uh, as uh, Brandon Rhodes, like quoting Brandon Rhodes, after the, 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 um, after the speaker has finished delivering their presentation, there will probably be five minutes for question. And when you go to the mic and prepare to ask your question, remember to phrase your question in the form of a question. Okay, <laughs> really important. For anything you need, there will be organizers with this t-shirt, so feel free to approach them and ask uh, any question or any assistant you, you might need. And for, um, I have to remind you, uh, if there, there is no drill happening this weekend, so if you hear the fire alarm uh, voice, it's like a voice that tells you to follow some instructions, the, the protocol is evacuate and disperse. I love how that sounds. Uh, just make sure that you follow our organizers so you can come back. If there is a fire, you're asked to leave the building 100 meters away from the uh, from, from building. That's all. I'm sorry I'm taking time from Naomi. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the conference. And thanks for just coming and helping the PSF. And I'll